After the death of Dr. Gregory Michael, who received the Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine on December 18th. The 56-year-old got the vaccine at Mount Sinai Medical Center, where he ran a private practice as an OBGYN for the last 15 years. A Facebook post by Michael's wife describes him as very healthy. She says three days after getting the shot, he noticed severe broken blood vessels on his feet and hands, prompting him to go to the emergency room, diagnosed with something called immune thrombocytopenia, which prevents blood from clotting. After two weeks of treatment, she writes, he got a hemorrhagic stroke caused by the lack of platelets that took his life in a matter of minutes. What's up, guys? Hey. Monday. So, crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. You guys heard about that gentleman who was a doctor, uh, Michael, I think it was. Got some notes over here. Uh, Michael, he ran a private practice, uh, OBGYN doctor. Uh, he took the Pfizer vaccine for COVID and says two weeks after he took it, so his wife actually posted on social media, probably Facebook, I think it was. She made a post that three days after he took the vaccine, he was fine. Uh, he had broken blood vessels in his feet and his hands or something, maybe his arms or something like that. And then leading up to the two weeks after he took the vaccine, uh, I guess he had a, I think it was a stroke or something, something to do with his blood vessels. Uh, they were too thin or or not his blood vessels being too thin, but his blood was too thin, and uh, and it killed him. So there's a lot of speculation on that. I guess the CDC is uh, investigating the Pfizer vaccine, as they should. And I guess I tell you all this because don't let everything that's going on with, with COVID-19 and everything that we're being told about that and blah, 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 it's hard to keep up. It's hard to keep up and do your own. It's hard to have your own thoughts about stuff like this. Whenever information is coming out so quickly and you're and it's just bombarding you, it's hard to have your own opinion about it. It's hard to uh, develop an idea, and it's hard to develop a position on the subject matter at hand. When everything's moving so quickly, it's hard to have a stance on it. Me, my stance. Take it one day at a time. But also, don't just jump into it because crowds and droves of people are jumping into it. Because you might find out that it wasn't what you wanted. I'm just saying, guys. Do your own research. Make your own call. It's decision time, baby. Yes or no. Just make your own call. I love you guys. Today's Monday. And have a, have a good one.